Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Tiny Apps. Right before I get to that, just want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com, which is the best website in the world. No, but it is the best site to get really cool Android-themed NFC tags and keychains and find out all about Android and NFC. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review and check those out. So, Tiny Apps. Uh, the version I'm going to be reviewing is the light version, but uh, you'll be able to see how it works and get all the information you know, and you can try the light version and upgrade to the full version to get a few extra things if you want. But basically it allows you to uh, uh, have floating apps or floating uh, widgets to do things um, while you're on your phone, which is really convenient because you can use it while you're inside of another app. At the top of my phone, I'm going to show you exactly what it is and how it works and why I think it's a really cool app. So here we are on my phone, and right here you see Tiny Apps Lite. So I'm going to click that button. It's going to take me back to my home screen and open up the uh, Tiny Apps main menu. You can see it's overlaid on top of my home screen. Once I select what I want to use, for example, let's say uh, music. When it opens up the music player, you can see that my home screen is completely visible behind it, and you can even scroll. You can drag and move this wherever you want. You can make it as small or as big as you want by, if I can get that corner. There we go. So you can make it smaller if you want to. Uh, the controls work. I'm going to push the play button. So you can see, um, if you click the little drop down box it gives you you can choose random repeat refresh and you can minimize so if you minimize it goes away but here in your drop down notification under main notifications you can click there to restore or if it's minimized then under persistent notifications you can click there to just close all your windows so now I have tiny apps listed in my widget soid pop-up so I can just enable it in whatever app I'm inside of uh, you have notes so here you can click and start typing so you could type notes no matter where you were if you were on the web let's go ahead and open a website just for example so maybe you're on Android police and you want to type about something you're reading about there you can do it uh, click the little drop down box so let's drag over here you can save it you can open it you can share it copy paste or minimize so let's save it uh, you can give it a file name and then save and now you've saved that open it up again you've got your recorder so you can use that to uh, quickly record any type of a memo and uh, you can give it a file name click start stop when you're done you close it minimize it then another one that you have is a handy one and that's your calculator so anywhere you are on your uh, uh, phone anything you're doing you can bring up this handy little calculator to help you if you have an email with some calculations you need to figure out and you can see it works just fine and you have the copy if you want to copy the answer to paste somewhere else you also have advanced if you need to use advanced uh, calculations you can do that and then uh, when you're done just X out of that and then you have uh, paint so if you want to do like a, a hand note of something you're seeing you can do it you have the uh, options to save or change color see and again just a, really the only significance of these apps is the fact that they are floating the 
fact that you can uh, use this in any uh, other app that you're inside of. You can use it on top of that app and you can move it around and uh, just allows you to take notes uh, or do whatever you need to do any of these things any of these controls inside of other apps even a web browser which is not available unless you have the pro version here are the things you get with the pro version you can minimize windows so uh, what that does is obviously you saw that I could minimize windows on the light version and it's just in my drop down notification but with the pro version you minimize and uh, I believe it goes over to this side of the screen it has a little uh, uh, a little tab that you would tap to then reopen it so you can do that without having to use your notification you can also adjust the transparency of a window so you can make a window more transparent um, and you can enable tiny widgets uh, which I believe allows you to uh, float other widgets from other apps and enable tiny browser as you see so the pro version gives you those extra features uh, but there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of usefulness in the stuff that comes in the free version and it you know if you use it and you see it's going to be useful for you then definitely worth upgrading if you go into settings real quick hopefully you can see this uh, most of the settings can only be changed in the pro version you can change have a persistent notification anytime you start your device so that you can quickly open tiny apps of course I do that just using the app widget soid the pro version of widget soid which allows me to have that and then go to tiny apps uh, notification you can start and stop the persistent notification you can change the text size of notes and the text color and you can also do bullet points uh, recorder you can set a default file name type uh, music you can hide any tracks that are under 30 seconds so if you have uh, mp3s that you're using as ringtones you can hide those you can uh, turn the vibrate on the calculator off uh, you can enable JavaScript on the browser uh, select a mobile or desktop user agent and you can select a start page and you can also select the docked icon size for when you uh, are docking it uh, you can remember the position so that the window when it reopens it opens at the same position and screen boundaries so various options that you have that you can uh, control if you upgraded the pro version but uh, overall that's uh, tiny apps again it's a very very little simple app but just the fact that it allows you to use these things on top of whatever else uh, you're already using or have opened uh, definitely some cool functionality and something you might get some uh, usefulness out of that was tiny apps the light version and as you can see it has some really cool functionality uh, definitely something you should at least try the light version see how you like it see if you think it's something you'd make use of on a regular basis and maybe upgrade to the pro version anyway if you like this review click the like button if you know anyone else who might be interested then uh, please share it with them on reddit or facebook twitter google plus or any of the other dozens of ways that are down there uh, feel free to post a comment or a question if you have it i'll do my best to answer you when i can and uh, subscribe to my channel or just hop over there so you can check out my other playlist other android app reviews uh, tasker 101 tutorials and uh, product reviews all kinds of fun stuff and that's about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.